Okay, hello guys. Uh, for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to build a block breaker from Unity. A very simple block breaker. However, the interesting part of this is that we're not going to be taking the input from the keyboard, but instead we're going to be taking this from the Arduino and particularly the ultrasonic. So that this is how it's going to play. I'm going to take this guy and as you can see, as I move here, it will be in the leftmost corner, and as I go, it will go to the rightmost corner, and that's how I'm going to be playing. Which is very simple, but I think it's very interesting. Let me see if I can show you the in-game action, like how it's going to play. So this is how it's going to play. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys can see it as I'm actually playing, but I think it's uh, very interesting. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with the Arduino parts. Now, as you can see, it's actually very simple. All you need to have is an ultrasonic and four female to male wires. Now, what I have is a 5 volt. I'm feeding it to my ultrasonic here. And then I have this ground, which is connected to the ground. And I have two pins, which are the echo and trig. And I connected them with any actually digital pens that you want. In my case, it's four and five. And that's it. No need for a breadboard. Now I'll be showing you the actual codes. But Okay, guys. So we're looking at the Arduino code. And it's very simple. Uh, the beautiful thing about the ultrasonic is that you don't need to incorporate any external libraries. So here I started with defining which pen is for my trig and which pen is for my echo, I choose 5 and 4. On setup I started with the serial dot begin as I'll be sending information to Unity through serial ports and this is going to be my speed. This is the default speed and this is, uh, I want to say this is for the output, this is going to produce the sound and the echo is going to receive the sound. So you have to define this here. Now this is the interesting part. Now on start what I did is that I say that this is the data which is going to represent the distance between my paddle and my ultrasonic and it says go to this method and give it its trig and the echo pins and this is my method I'm gonna say now logically speaking the very first thing that I need to do is to make a sound so I want to digital write my trig to high which is this part and then delay, I want you to make a sound for a very small delay, which is, I think, uh, this is in microseconds, an 8 microseconds, and these are values that I did not come up with, this is sort of like the ideal values, and then I want to turn off, I don't want the sound to be playing over and over, very briefly play the sound, but this is also part, I think, for extra safety measures, that you want to make sure that the trig was also off, when you started to produce another sound. And the next part is how do I calculate the distance? I use this pulse in built in method and I pass it what is the pen of the echo and this high. And high it says to receive the sound. When this guy is high, return the time. So it would return the time multiplied by the speed of light and divided by this value right here, which will convert my time to. I think which convert the whole thing into seconds the two here is because I'll be measuring the distance back and forth and that's when my distance is returned and the last part is simply I want you to write which is send it to the serial port the data that I just received and delay of 20 the delay of 20 is something that through experience uh, proved to be very important or like smooth for smooth functioning between Arduino and Unity where I'll be delaying Unity for 25 and delaying this guy for 20 and I'll be having a very sort of like a smooth operation 